Well, hello and welcome back to yet another incredible video. In this video, I'm going to share some quick tips on how to make your DIYs look high end. So let's get started. First things first, keep it simple. High end decor is usually simple, classic, and effortlessly stunning. When you are pulling together your pieces, ask yourself if this is something that will stand the test of time. Can it fit inside of most decors? Is it universally appealing? While in all forms of art, there is room for limitless creativity. If you are choosing to steer high end, keep it simple. Make sure your construction is not fussy and that your end product has clean lines and an unbusy feel. Secondly, keep it neutral. In my opinion, neutral does not mean white and black. Neutral means choosing one or two colors and focusing on just those two with the possible addition of woods, stains, burlaps, and whites. This will help your design feel more concise and keep it from feeling clustered and cheap. Thirdly, keep it clean. You should be able to showcase your piece up close and in good lighting, and it should still be a showstopper. That means not having glue webs, paint smears, or any other mistakes on the show side of your work. Lastly, staging is everything. Staging is what sells the quality of your DIY. It can make or break the illusion of your piece being high end. So keep it well lit. Darkly lit pieces will always look more worn, dingy, and inexpensive. Keep the lighting high and focused on your work. And stage it, but don't upstage it. Choose to showcase your pieces with like items, but opt to keep them as background pieces so as not to upstage the main attraction. That means choosing greenery, pine cones, plants, white and black colored items, and neutral backgrounds, arts and wallpaper. This is so that your piece gets to remain the star of the show. Well, I hope you were able to learn something that will help you with your future projects. Uh, feel free to comment below any tips that you use um, to have your work look high end. Uh, also, if you liked or were inspired by any of the pieces in this video, the links for the DIYs will be in the description box. And of course, as always, we have appreciated you taking the time out to watch our video, and we hope that you will subscribe so that you can hang out and be okay with us.